Hi, I'm Macy from the Charleston County Public Library, and thanks for watching this virtual program. September is Library Card Sign-Up Month, and your Charleston County Library Card is the key to a wealth of information and resources for free. Of course we have tons of books. We also have movies, telescopes, museum passes, and gaming tablets for kids. And your library card gives you access to tons of digital content, like ebooks, audiobooks, music, and magazine subscriptions, plus access to databases for professional development, learning a new language, and genealogy research. Your library card is available for free if you live in Charleston County. Just stop by your neighborhood branch with your proof of address and your ID. For more information, visit ccpl.org. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my home studio here on James Island. I'm really excited to share some music with you. And in this video, it's going to be about how I compose and what inspires me to compose. And at the end of the video, I'm going to play for you my composition. I'm a clarinetist. So here's my clarinet. This is my a uh, weapon of choice of music. I consider it like a tool. It's my tool to the music world, just like a carpenter has a hammer and nails to build a house. I build my music with my clarinet with the assistance of some other equipment. So I have my loop pedal here. If you can have a look down at the ground. And what this does is it helps me to record music one layer at a time. I'm going to play for you just a little bit, a little snippet of my composition that you're going to hear later. And you can just hear how the, the layers are recorded and played back with the help of the loop pedal. So now you know how the loop pedal works. So that kind of gets me going. I can do a lot just with that. And most composers who use loop pedals usually use short segments of music that repeat over and over. A lot of groovy stuff out there. Um, but I like to make longer layers of music. So I can only do that if I circular breathe. And a lot of you have no idea what circular breathing is, so I'm going to kind of demonstrate for you and explain how it works. So circular breathing, it happens in three steps. The first step is you put air into your cheeks, like this. And then you push the air out of your cheeks, like this. 
and then you breathe in your nose all at the same time. So there's three things happening at the same time. And the reason why I learned how to circular breathe is because I have to breathe all the time when I play clarinet. And honestly, I've always been a little bit envious of like string players and violin players, cello players, pianists who can just play beautiful compositions that just keep going and going without stopping. So I had to learn how to circular breathe so that I could do that. So I'll, I'll demonstrate for you really quick kind of how I compose and I'll show you how I circular breathe. So the way that I compose is I use patterns and I usually start not for all of my compositions, this one in particular and a lot of my compositions, I use patterns and I take a pattern and then I just change one note at a time. And I do this over a long period of time until it creates kind of like a soundscape. So in this composition that I'm going to play for you today, um, the first thing that you hear is actually not the first pattern that I came up with. I'm going to play for you the pattern and I'm just going to demonstrate how I ended up uh, figuring it out and changing the notes. So it started off like this. the base of my pattern and then I'm going to take the top note and I'm going to move it up a step. So we'll put that together. And then I'm going to add one more note. So I'm just taking the top note and moving it up a step and so that I'm starting to create a shape. So music, I always think, is like shapes. And this pattern is enabling me through repeating it to create a shape that's kind of going up like a triangle and going down. composition that's like the first section and that's really where it all started and and when I compose I always like to use two contrasting sections so the first section is based off of that pattern and then I wanted to pick a, a harmony or a set of notes that was like pretty happy sounding so I picked a flat major and I, I created a pattern based on a flat major that's really uh, similar to the previous pattern that you heard. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds a little bit happier, at least to me. And then I go back to a pattern uh, from the first section. So then I just go back and forth between these two patterns here. layer. So a lot of my compositions, they I always start off with a pattern of some sort and um, a lot of things happen by accident. So sometimes I'm practicing and this is really common. Um, sometimes I'm practicing and I'll land on a note by accident and instead of thinking like oh man that that sounded horrible or I don't know why I did that. I practiced this a, a dozen times and I'm still pl I'm still playing wrong notes, wrong notes. Um, I just kind of go with it. And so what happened was I ended up landing on an F at the end of this pattern. 
Uh, actually, this is uh, <laughs> this is a couple layers, a couple layers later. I actually um, end up landing on the wrong note, and that helped me to create my bass line. So first, I had the pattern that you heard that I explained through the entirety. Then I had to create a harmony with that pattern. So I wanted to create something like a similar rhythm that has a wave-like flow to it, um, but I wanted, I wanted it to be in harmony. So I came up with this. <laughs> together uh, it sounds like this two patterns closer together. Right now they have a bit of space in between each other, but when I first started they were actually, it was actually the, the second pattern that I just played for you was right on top of it. It was up here. Um, so let's hear how that sounds. Sound like. 
composition that you're about to hear is for bass clarinet and voice. You're going to hear, of course, my own voice and my loop pedal. And I just wanted to take a minute to thank the Charleston County Public Library for making this a possibility. A virtual concert is not something that I ever imagined would be something that I would be doing, but I'm so appreciative that I'm able to do it and I would really like to extend my gratitude and thanks to everybody who works for the Charleston County Public Libraries. So the next concert, there's going to be one more concert, and the next one is going to feature compositions from my CD. My CD is titled Metamorphosis, A Live Sound Journey, and it's all my original compositions. You can find this on my webpage, philiplipton.com and go to albums and you can get it right there and I can mail you a copy. This next composition is a lot different than the one that you first heard. This next one is very introspective. It starts off with a, a sad bass clarinet melody, uh, introspective harmony, and it actually is all about using your voice and speaking out. So one of the vocal lines in harmony towards the end of the composition is 
using those words to speak out. And whether we like it or not, since we're children, everything that we experience, we internalize in our bodies. And I have a practice of doing yoga, which helps me get some of that stuff out. It's very therapeutic for me. And I actually keep a yoga journal. So when I did my yoga teacher training, I um, journaled a lot. And I've been going through those, and I found one that I that really resonated with me. It's a little bit intense, and it does have to do with a little bit of childhood trauma. One of my worst memories, when I was playing baseball, I was surrounded by uh, my teammates who told me they were Nazis. I'm Jewish. And that was very scary for me. And I don't think that I ever really um, dealt with it until more recently, in the more recent years. It was something that I didn't really know how to talk about or anything. So um, it's it's really wild how that that came out in my in my training, and you're going to hear a line uh, a line from that from that journal entry in the in the music. So for this next composition, just close your eyes and see how it resonates with you. <laughs> Thank you. 
adolescence, teenage struggle, lingered from my student being bullied and having spoken with Laura, visions of baseball team, Nazis with bats, let go, coming back to body. I felt that there wasn't a part of my body that was my guiding force, but rather my whole body, and so my gesture was a sort of a hug. Truth, and I am true, I resonated so with me, Pranayama, and gratitude really for my family, and myself going in and out of that distraction. Adolescence, teenage struggle, lingered from my student being bullied and having spoken with Laura, visions of baseball team, Nazis with bats, let go, coming back to body. I felt that there wasn't a part of my body that was my guiding force, but rather my whole body, and so my gesture was a sort of a hug. Truth, and I am true, I resonate so with me, pranayama, and gratitude really intense for my family, found myself going in and out of that distraction. Adolescence, teenage struggle, lingered from my student being bullied and having spoken with Laura, visions of baseball team, Nazis with bats, let go, coming back.